Shalom, Kal Halayim, Le Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Racha HaKurash, double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone, who rule well, who I learned this truth from, and salutations and blessings, all right, to you elect out there. So, this is a quick lesson I thought I'd do because I'm planning on doing a parasite and liver cleanse, as it says right here. So, I jotted some things down, my guidelines, what I wanted to do for myself, and I wanted to make a big statement. That this is only one way, not the way, all right? I'm not some great healer and teacher and whatever, you know, herbalist. I'm just a brother that knows some things via Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Do your own research, do your due diligence, and apply yourself. But this is something that's very effective, all right? Because first of all, before you start healing anything, you need to heal any kind of parasites. You need to get rid of parasites and worms. And there's a lot of those different buggers out there, man. There's a lot of different kinds of worms and parasites. So the first three days of my cleanse, and I'm about to do this in about two weeks, a week and a half to two weeks. I'm just planning everything out because you're going to need time for yourself. <laughs> All right? As much as you can. First three days, parasite and worm cleanse, right? So I'm just going to go through my, through my, through my uh, notes. All right, I make a tincture myself, and it contains black walnut hull, pau de arco, sage, wormwood, worm seed, oregano, cinnamon, and clove. Do your own research. You can, pot, you can buy your own formula. You can mix capsules. You can do your own thing. These are just some of the herbs that are some of the most effective herbs, all right, especially the black walnut hull, not the leaf. You have a black walnut leaf, and you have a hull, two different actions. Sometimes you have a leaf of, of the herb and you have the root of the herb. Two different actions. Two different purposes. Right? Pau de Arco, another amazing herb. Sage. Right? Wormwood. Amazing. Worm seed. Even stronger. Do your own research. Alright? I'm also going to be taking olive leaf extract capsules. Again, do your research. Very, very, very effective tool. Very, great, very great herb to aid you in healing. All right, not just in the parasitic worm world, but also for many other ailments, especially your cardiovascular, your your bloodstream, keeping your veins clean, your arteries, all that good stuff. Oregano oil, next on the list. Now I know I have oregano here in my tincture, but this is just the leaf, right? Oregano oil that contains 70% of this thing called carv carvacrol. All right, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Carvacrol, this is a substance that is very powerful in aiding in the death of certain C cells. C-A-N, I'm not even going to say it. C-A-N-C-E-R cells. And, of course, very, very great for parasites as well. Do your own research on this substance alone. But you should get an oil that's this strong, at least 70% for it to be very effective. Next on the list is cayenne pepper, all right? I take one-fourth teaspoon two, three times a day, all right? I mix it in some water. I drink it straight, all right? Sometimes I do half a teaspoon. Um, you know, I, 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 I pretty much worked up to a half a teaspoon to almost a teaspoon. Again, this goes to your own palate. This goes to your own experience with cayenne pepper because this herb is not a joke, but a great, again, a great healer, a great accelerator of the processes that we're doing, cayenne pepper is uh, known as, what is that word? Uh, damn, forget that, forget that word. Catalyst, it's a catalyst. The Wadi al is a catalyst, which means it increases the actions of other things that you take. So we're taking these things above, right? Our parasite and olive oil and oregano. So cayenne pepper will increase its potencies. And then finally, we're taking kelp capsules which, which again do your own research high amounts of iodine um, i'm taking a sea vegetable capsule which a brother sells in the camp the brother kazak the water for that brother um, very 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 important for mineral minerals because we're going to be on something called a mucusless diet what is a mucusless diet something that you've heard i guess dr sabi say which he got from other people his predecessors people before him I'm following a certain herbalist that I've been listening to and researching for years, over 10 years. His name is Dr. Christopher. Again, do your own research. He has seminars on YouTube about different 
you'll have different systems, the nervous system, the cardiovascular system, the endocrine system, and he'll go into he'll go into it from a her, from a her, uh, herbal perspective, right? So he's a very wise and intelligent man. I've been using his formulas for a lot of years. His stuff works, and his uh, uh, this is from his point of view of the mucusless diet. So what are we not allowed? No eggs, meat, sugar. Raw honey is okay. Raw honey, raw unpasteurized honey, unpasteurized honey actually helps you with the bacteria and parasites. Again, do your own research. right? Oh, raw honey has sugar. Oh my God. Do your own research. Don't just say stuff. Research it because that's what I thought. right? All sugar is the same. No, all sugar is not the same. What we mean by no sugar is especially, of course, white refined sugar, which you shouldn't be consuming that shit anyway in your regular day. But we're not taking in cane sugar either. We're not taking in different things. Raw, unpasteurized honey will help you, all right, especially if you have tea. You make your tea, you put a little honey, no problem. Flour products, of course, especially white flour, but any flour. Dairy, of course, you shouldn't be consuming too much dairy either, right? Uh, if you're going to have cheese, op opt for sheep or goat cheese. It's a little more expensive, but it's worth it. Right? Refined salt. Now, why didn't I just put salt? Because, again, all salts are not the same. Especially the pink salt, or especially, 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 I had to say it three times, Celtic sea salt. All right? Do your own research. That's one of the top salts on the planet, Celtic sea salt. And, of course, alcohol. Pretty, pretty understandable, right? What are we allowed? Well, herbal teas. Right, not not the teas in the packets, unless you know you know that's a good provider, that's a good company, because some of them some of them are good. But try to get herbal raw, uh, the sifted, right, the cut cut uh, loose and cut teas, right, in the packages. All right, you can research, for example, peppermint, which is very good, and and that's one of my favorites. Unrefined whole grains, quinoa, couscous, uh, barley. You can eat uh, veggies, of course, vegetables. Fruits, right? Especially seeded watermelons with the black seed, not the white. Um, papaya, right? And you can take papaya extract as well if you want a little boost for the anti-worm and parasites, right? Sprouts. Almost all seeds you can sprout. A lot of greens you can sprout. Especially alfalfa sprout. Very nutritious. It will keep you very full. And of course, fasting 12 to 18 hours is recommended. So speak... Sp uh, skip breakfast, right? Skip breakfast. Take those herbs. You will accelerate the healing process, right? So this is first three days that I'm doing again, right? So after the after the three days of the parasite cleanse, we go to our liver gallbladder tonic, right? Again, this is a a formula I follow and I make. You can make and purchase your own, uh, make or purchase your own, um, right, so this one contains milk thistle, very famous herb for the liver, barberry, barberry root, uh, wild yam root, fennel seed, and ginger, right, if the liver is congested and bile does not flow freely into the intestinal tract, it goes directly into the bloodstream, resulting in indigestion, sluggishness, fever, fatigue and constipation etc right so you know that 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 no energy feeling and, and fatigue bloating that's dealing with the liver all right so we take this tonic 30 minutes prior to eating right still following the mucusless diet to the best of your ability um right also we're taking the lower bowel formula which contains barberry again now, barberry is one of the highest uh, containing herbs of a substance called berberin. Berberin is very famous. All right, berberin is a, is a very famous compound that aids in a lot of actions, especially, again, antimicrobial, right? Uh, Anti-C-A-N-C-E-R um, and different ailments, right? It's a very strong compound. Cascara Sagrada, brothers who <laughs> brothers who did colon cleanse or washout, you know about Cascara Sagrada just by itself. That's a very 
powerful herb. Cayenne pepper, ginger, lobelia, red raspberry leaf, and fennel seed. We take this, we take two, three capsules three times a day on an empty stomach. All right, this will tone your peristaltic muscle, which is that muscle that helps you move things through your body, through your colon, right? It's a pump. It's a, it's a muscle that contracts over time when we, you know, we don't give a shit about our health and we eat like crap and, and we don't take the proper herbs. We never do fasting. We never uh, help, uh, let our bodies heal and rest. Well, that, that, that muscle can be very weak, right? And that really fucks up your, your, indi- your di- digestion, right? So this will tone your peristaltic muscle and clean out old fecal matter. You have sometimes you've got old a lot of people got old fecal matter. That's actually you got to scrape that shit off. It's it's hard as hell. So it's like a rock. So this will over time, right? Um, and you can again after three days you can you can do this for a week. All right, I plan to do it for about a week, staying on uh, you know making my 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 uh, fruit smoothies especially with the with the kale you know the vitamin k or the, or, the, or the spinach you know put some cilantro in there and then you know you know drink it down so pretty much this is it uh, i'm gonna do a, a, a next little segment on my phone on on the screen recorder just to bring us some more information but this is this is you're doing your body a lot of good because again the first process is not cleaning out your liver not purifying your kidneys, um, not cleaning out your digestive tract. It's ridding your body as much as you can of parasites and worms because we all have them, right? We all have them, you know, and they, and they accumulate, getting rid of micro, uh, 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 micro, microbial, you know, bacteria in your body. All right, so let's keep going on. Okay, so this is barberry, right? Reddish fruit droop down, or reddish fruits droop down, greenish yellow flowers, oval shaped leaves contains berberin, an antibacterial that fights infection and increases white blood cell count, which is your immune system. Berries and roots, most common parts used. Berry tea is di- diuretic, laxative, and expectorant. Root bark tea is antiseptic blood cleanser, so you're cleaning your blood. That's a very big part of it as well, right? We got all kinds of stuff in our blood, right? And as the scriptures say, the life is in the blood, right? Um, Blood cleanser used to clean liver for jaundice, hepatitis, which is an inflammation of the liver. Whenever you see itis, that's an inflammation. Bile production, bile production is amazing because you need bile to emulsify and help you digest fats, right? Good fats, of course. Um, Also astringent to stop bleeding and hemorrhaging, diarrhea, arthritis, used for high blood pressure, ulcers, cholera, diarrhea, painful periods, stress, lowers blood pressure and slows breathing, stimulates gallbladder, right? So this is why this tonic is called the liver gallbladder, right? The, the, The gallbladder is part of the digestive uh, system right it's a very important uh, uh organ um stimulates gallbladder liver right and it says of course do not use during pregnancy um let me go to this segment this is from uh doctor this is from instagram right do do crop dot holistic he's uh you know he's a lot of videos brothers are sharing with this specific guy and uh whoever hey whoever brings out information you gotta you gotta bring it out you know, that, that's the point. A lot of these guys, they get killed off. These holistic doctors, they're getting killed off, man. You know, silently. So whoever brings out some good information, you got to rate it. You got you to gotta, uh, give, give credit where credit is due. So he says you have to heal your liver to heal your hormones. And then the uh, caption, it says, if you think your liver is just a big filter, then think again. Your liver has over 500 functions. And one of its main functions is balancing almost all your hormones. As a matter of fact, many people suffering with hormonal imbalances, hypothyroidism, PCOS, and menopausal symptoms don't truly have a hormonal problem. They have a liver problem. For example, the liver breaks down the estrogen that is produced. Too much estrogen has been linked to ovarian cysts, fibroids, and irregular cycles. 
by effectively metabolizing and removing excess estrogen, the liver helps healthy ovarian function. Your liver activates your thyroid hormone. If your liver is not working right, you could develop liver-induced hypothyroidism. Your liver turns off your cortisol, which is made by your adrenal glands. And that's cortisol is, is, is not a good hormone to have spiked in your body. When you have cortisol spiked in your body, you're in that fight or flight state. You know what I mean? Cortisol can actually create new, uh, well, it can actually spike blood sugar by creating too much. Actually, it'll create sugar in your body. You know, your body can actually create sugar without you actually eating sugar. So it can actually spike your blood sugar and your blood pressure. Right, and it leaves you in that adrenal gland state, adrenal fatigue, as it says. If your liver is not working properly, you can develop adrenal fatigue, which is a very, it's not a nice thing to have, you know. That's not a good thing to have, adrenal fatigue. And a lot of us have suffered from that. I've had, I've had that personally. You know, you can have a full night's rest and wake up and you're dead, dead tired, man. You're dead fatigued, Right. So you have to learn how to help your liver. And one of the most effective things I know is a specialized process called deep liver cleansing. Right. So, again, uh, the diet, the mucusless diet um, will aid in the healing process. You're not you're not eating hard things. You're not eating hard to digest foods during this time period. Right. You got you got rid of a lot of microbes and parasites and, and worms. Through, through the process and, and the protocol I just I just listed. And then you're you're tuning up and you're ton, ton, tonifying your gallbladder liver, right? And you're and you're helping your kidneys as well because a lot of crap is not coming in. So your kidneys have time to process and clear themselves and and, and, and get and get tonified. Okay, so and your digestive system gets a break. You know, and you're cleaning out a lot of old things in your body, old fecal matter and things of that nature. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick, quick lesson on that. I hope this helps whoever it is deemed to help through the spirit. Um, I want to say all praises, honor and glory. Kal halalium, la Yahawa, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha HaKodash, double honors to the apostles, elders and bishops of GMS who rule well, who I learned this truth from. And uh, salutations and blessings. To you elect out there. Shalom.